Oh, look, George. Do you remember this photo? This was taken the first day I found you. This is George. He lived in his natural habitat in the jungle where he was very happy. He was a good little monkey, but he was always very curious. Hmm, what a cute monkey. How can I outwit him? <laughs> Don't worry, little fella. I didn't kill you. And so George left his jungle habitat for his new home in the city. The man in the yellow hat sold George to the man in the yellow lab coat for 50 bucks. Don't be scared, George. You're in your new home. This was a magical place, full of animals George had never seen before, having the kinds of adventures George had never had in the jungle. There was Cyclops the fish, Blinky the rabbit, Harry the hairspray cat, Puffy the smoking dog, and Jerry the gerbil, who was being forced to catch up on some non-stop fox. Bobby Short sucks. Bobby Short sucks. Monkey, look, it's your favorite. Mmm, yeah, yeah. George was still curious. George hoped the next day would be more fun. Thanks to you, Liz Taylor has a new fragrance. White lesions. <laughs> Okay, George, you're next. This was the moment when George turned from curious to furious. George feared that the man in the yellow lab coat did not understand him. So he was determined to make his point. He got through to the man in the yellow lab coat. Then George freed his friends so they could play the games they wanted to play. Oh, let me tell you, I'm coming down with the bad case of glaucoma. When the man in the yellow lab coat woke up, he too was curious. The animals decided to let the man in the yellow lab coat have the same kind of fun that they had been having. The games were stimulating, and even Jerry the gerbil found a cozy new home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The animals made sure that the man in the yellow lab coat would never forget this day. And then you found your way back here. Remember, George? Oh, good. It's music time. I see you've brought your organ. the man in the yellow hat and the man in the yellow lab coat would be together forever. And that's how George wasn't furious anymore.